Round number two comes to us from where? Us. Us. Yeah, this, us is, oh, us. this is ours. That's right. Yep. So we have a little bit of, because one of the, our favorite things is military love stories. I think mm. they're just so fantastic. They happen all the time. And mm -hmm. I didn't point it out. Senator McSally had the same thing when she was a young one. She was married and divorced as a young one. I was going to bring we that up. We all do it. <laughs> but it's just part of, except for cons. What a loser. Yeah. Sorry what about it. I, only have, I have the stories. I have loser. the stories that just didn't involve me. They involved my soldiers. But what I find fascinating about all these soldiers, they probably could it's like guidance. Yeah, yeah, they definitely could have. But I, I wasn't one to give love guidance at 23, 24. Trust me. Uh, but what I find fascinating is that in the military, there's like six to eight types of love stories that can occur. And then that's it. It's like every, everyone falls into one of those boxes and everyone has the same six to eight stories. It's like all what? The same. There's, there's the stripper, fell in love yes. with the stripper. I swear to God, that is 110% true. I would ask my Marine later, where are you going? Well, Brandy broke down on the side of I-5, blah, blah, blah. Brandy from where? The Purple Church? Oh, <laughs> God damn it. How long have you been seeing her? Like, you know, yeah. that. Um, definitely the stripper one. Definitely another one stealing each other's girlfriends Spouses? or boyfriends. Yes. Yeah, like yeah. stealing each other. Like, that's married, another one. Married your high school sweetheart right out of boot high camp. High school sweetheart right out <laughs> of boot camp. Uh, hairdresser or somebody who provides some sort of service to the military out in town. Mm -hmm. Whether a master it's a, guns his daughter. A master guns his daughter. You're right. There's like a, we'll have to sort out the categories, but you're right. You fall into one of these things. Um, or you're a woman like me, you know that the odds are in your favor because there's only a few of you and it's like shooting fish in a barrel. You're like, I'm taking the hot fish because I can now. And then you do that and then you get divorced. That's got to be empowering. Oh, for sure, man. You feel like a, mm. the, 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 the deployment tent <laughs> thing is real. I felt like a hottie boom -a <laughs> anyways so we, we, we got a really good submission and the, there's a text uh, chain and it says uh wait 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 wait, wait. go ahead go ahead cons you okay. be yes. the blue yes. chaps you be the black text okay. so read this text message wait did you just ask me to marry you i mean i'm gonna do that in person baby girl to make it cute and stuff but yes OMG, I'm almost crying. <laughs> Why, baby girl? I'm so happy. Good, baby girl. That's my job to make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to take my headphones off. I couldn't listen to him say good, baby girl, because I wanted to die. I literally wanted to die. My face is like purple. Oh, God. Gross. Good baby girl. That's really <laughs> happy. Woo, baby girl. Woo, baby girl. <laughs> baby lock the door and turn the lights <laughs> down low. Let me get that caulk. Get my caulk gun out. <laughs> I'm, Dad, it's about to put some toothpaste on you. <laughs> oh, God. Grab your brush. Anyways, so yeah, this is the creepiest. And so at the top of it, she says, so it's official. I'm going to be a military wife. And then she posted this text conversation. Where he kind of shittily asks her over the phone, <laughs> over a text message to marry you. I and wish then, you would have went further down the baby girl thing. Like where it, went, oh. where it goes from baby girl to like, you tiny little baby infant. You little yeah, embryo. Yeah, you tiny little baby. <laughs> little, uh, little egg newly. Yeah, so anyway, the whole thing. Just very creepy. And to me, if you're saying like, baby girl, baby, you don't know like how to relationship. And this is your idea of how to relationship is to call someone baby girl all the time. Like whatever. And sprinkle it in. For Baby a fine girl seasoning. is fucking gross. No matter yeah. what, yeah, yeah, it is. I know, just, fucking gross. Yeah. And especially so, multiple times in the same text chain. There, that's just. Yeah. Ugh. How many times? Every single text he said it. Yeah, exactly. He, it he gave single, her three baby girls. Oh God. <laughs> Anyway, so one baby zero, girl, everybody knows the rules. Yeah, one baby girl. <laughs> so if we were talking about starting to call, like call her daddy has their daddy gang. What if we're like ZBT, the baby girls? Yeah. <laughs> Our followers are the baby girls. Anyways, we asked, what is the most cringeworthy love story you've seen play out in the military? The baby girls had some good answers for this. <laughs> yeah, they baby, did. Our baby girls had some good answers. Thank you, baby girls. <laughs> everybody anyway. said thanks, baby girls. <laughs> thanks, thanks, baby thank you, baby girls. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, so I answered one, one of my first, and I think I've talked about him before, but you know, we said every unit has like the smelly kid. Every unit has the kid that's always screwing up or whatever, for whatever reason. And we have this Marine in our unit who is consistently jacked up, like constantly failing room inspections. If we got, all got fucked over, it was usually because of something he did. And we always all were getting punished for him because nobody could get this kid to get his shit together. And so he failed room inspection one day. 
And he also, he did something else and his wedding was that weekend. And one of our other Marines in front of the staff sergeant, like said, I'm not going to your wedding, dude, fuck that. And our, our staff sergeant, like, bing, like a light bulb went off in his head. He's like, actually, you're all going to his wedding. And you, we're going to have an alphas inspection in the parking lot before you walk into the church. You Ugh. all got to wear your, you all got to wear your alphas. And it was the middle of summertime. And you are all going to this wedding. And so it was like punishment to have to Which go to this wedding. Which is not a lawful order. <laughs> no, no, it's not. And we did it. We didn't know. We're idiots. <laughs> right. So we did it. Like, okay, all- I got to help staff start move. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> The, <laughs> yeah. the um that was like uh, as lance corporals were working construction sites for free on weekends out yeah. in the, like 29 palms for a gunny you're like oh okay Get what are you doing here pussy. gunny said so so we're in our office. full-time job <laughs> the wedding the wedding i'll never take this uniform off <laughs> the wedding was at bikers for christ headquarters in oceanside california as expected as expected the wedding they, he had only met her like a month before he, all the materials, all the crosses, all the, whatever the walls was all made out of motorcycle parts. The pastor was wearing that's like- That's a nice motorcycle. Yeah, that's a nice motorcycle. The pastor was wearing like leather. A motorcycle with a baptism pool in the middle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she walked down the aisle to Sticks. It was- so What it was, song? What song? Cause shout out to Sticks. Hey, oh, oh my that's, God. Yeah. Are you serious? I swear to God, hand to God. And Baby so, girl. Baby girl. <laughs> baby girl baby girl so it's the families in the front and they both look like they don't want to be there they both look like nightmare fuel they're shaking their heads so it's a row of like five people in the front nobody else and then this little group clump of 15 in their alphas sitting <laughs> and it wasn't huge it was so awkward so she walks down it, he walks up to one of the guys right before the wedding starts and goes, I forgot to think of like a best man. Can one of you just come up here and be my best man? He like grabbed one wow. of them to be his best man at the last minute. That's kind of sad. That and, is sad. Uh, the whole, I mean, the, the whole, whole thing, thing is sad. Was like, well, during, so the vows, he, he adjusted the rifleman's creed. So he was like, this is my wife. There, there are many like her, but this one is mine. And this was, he tried to make a joke. He's like, without my wife or, Without me, my wife is useless. Without my wife, I am okay, but she is still useless. Like those were his, that was his little joke in his vows to her. Oh, that's, yeah. that's super romantic. And then the pastor went on this rant about the time he dropped acid in DC on the mall. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're all sitting there sweating our dicks off and our alphas like, what the fuck? Afterwards, our staff sergeant was like, my bad. <laughs> like, whoops, that was, that was fucked, oops. Afterwards, they tried to ride off on a motorcycle together. This is, no offense, she was extremely heavy lady like none taken probably over 300 <laughs> they couldn't they couldn't take off the way they wanted to it wasn't working oh, out man. it got stuck yeah it was like the whole thing was like oh my god so anyways, you gotta get her a sidecar you gotta get her a sidecar they're now divorced they Imagine that very visual. Shocker. i believe he got caught on myspace hitting up other i don't know it's the whole thing anyways oh, he goes myspace by- will get you you sneaky put somebody in your top eight next thing you know they're taking them yeah. to bone town I, so I checked back in with one of my, my Marine buddies to be like, did I just dream that or all these details correct before I put it in the thing? He was like, oh yeah. And he added a couple more details that I forgot. I forgot that the guy goes by the name Bubba Clam now. Uh Goes by the name Bubba Clam. That was Bubba Clam that you sent. That was Bubba Clam. That was Bubba Clam. So now Hmm. he's been out for a long time, was kind of like, sure he's a lovely person with the shipper of the unit and he's one of those guys now that wears the full flak and holds the rifle and does all these videos where he's oh, like yeah. marine corps blah, blah, blah. And you're like really back in my <laughs> core you're Dude, the you reason got married you were... at a motorcycle place <laughs> yeah so anyway so that was my story there's a couple more sorry that was so long but it's just so ingrained in my head apology accepted mm. dildo, dildo bag so what's the most cringeworthy love stories dildo baggins AKA the Faptizer. What a great group of names this guy has. He said all of them, literally all of them. He's not wrong. This one, Red Wolfson said, dated this girl for a few months who said she was divorced. She got into an argument with her roommate one day who then told me that she was still married. Her E7 husband was in Afghanistan coming home soon. My E4 ass got the hell out of there. Corey was Jody. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I have a question for you, a moral question. At this point, you're an E4, he's an E7, but he's a fellow Marine. Do you reach out to him and say, hey, I've been fucking your wife? No. Uh, no. <laughs> what? No. You most certainly do not. Absolutely you just get out of there not. and hope your name is never mentioned. Well, you have to switch the word. Pardon me. Uh, hey, buddy, your wife was fucking me. 
Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, getting so pegged just, by your wife. It was I wild. feel like, wouldn't you want to know? I feel like you should tell him. But yeah, somebody else can do it. That's not you. No way. Yeah. So Thomas Jenkins said, first duty station, we had a very religious 01. So brand new boot lieutenant connect with a woman in the Philippines that he went on leave to marry. He spent his entire savings to fly four hours from Japan. I was an E3 and it was like watching a rich person gamble on a game they didn't understand. I've, I would imagine, I'm like, watching an officer do that shit is like, hey, that's our enlisted thing. Stop yeah. it. That's our yeah. thing. <laughs> well, we're, let me be clear. Officers are not immune to this type of thing because you have to remember, most of the time, officers are young, very, very young when they get commissioned. So yeah. they're not immune to making poor life decisions at all. Do you have any friends who did anything like that? Who like went off and married really quick? or Come did, back like... to West Point married? Yeah. I, uh-huh. I, I will say I have friends who are on marriage number two and some in some cases marriage number three. So there's hope for me. Love yes. it. This one. And so I was thinking, oh, all the cringeworthy stories we see fellow service members do, blah, blah. I would imagine that there's a lot of civilians out there who are like, oh, I can tell you horror stories about dating a military person. I imagine oh it's God, yeah. So this girl, uh, Laura, said, my own ex, who was in the Navy, proposed to me last fall and something didn't feel right. So I called it off. Two days later, he was engaged to his ex because he couldn't stand the thought of being alone with a deployment coming up. I wish them all the happiness in the world. Like, good luck to the lady he wound up marrying when he was about to marry. And then somebody replied, stunt double said, ha, my ex married a cocktail waitress like five minutes after he went home on leave. Who knows where they are today? So like, I imagine too on the civilian side, it's like, oh my God. Anyways, a lot of good stories there. Uh, A lot of people talking about how their roommates getting married on like post AIT and their dorky Tradock dress blues and all that shit. Like just, uh, it's an endless, oh, Babies in the barracks, kids in the barracks, like please, babysitting. Please read, like, please read this one from Aaron Bronson. Yeah, okay. One of my boots started dating this stripper and always brought her back to the barracks. And one day I was on duty and he was in his room with like three little kids. And I asked him what he was doing. And I guess, guess the stripper asked him to babysit her kids. Later found out she was on a date with his roommate. And oh, they took my God. And they took his car to go out. His roommate and the stripper wound up getting married. I switched room uh, units after that, but I heard they were married for like the weekend or something crazy like that. So he got dumped and then had to watch her kids while his roommate went out. With Unbelievable. Her, so. That's like the poster uh, child. That should be on like a brochure of what it's like to be in the military for sure. Oh, yeah. I remember one of my sergeants one morning when I was on duty who he was already kind of a wacko as a sergeant living in the barracks and stuff going on. And I remember just, <laughs> it was super early in the morning, like crack of dawn. And he's walking out of the barracks holding like a baby carrier with a baby in it. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, huh? So yeah, all sorts. Well, of imagine things. me what I used to look like whenever I was go feed the dogs and I would have to put Kelsey in a stroller. Like I yeah. had the big Japanese like push style stroller. And yep. so I would have Kelsey would be in the stroller and I'd have the dog food and dog pants for 22 military working dogs underneath pushing Kelsey through the kennels and like opening <laughs> put them in, putting them in there. I, will, I wish I could see that. I will say this. If you see your battle buddy, clearly going down the wrong path and making a mistake encourage that in encourage it encourage it encourage <laughs> oh yeah you got to go all in you got to find out if she's she or he has a friend and do the same yeah you got to get yeah. that bah going mm-hmm. amen no save Best your, save your battle mill. buddies yeah mill the mill Oof. double bah baby that's oh, yeah. the way to really live that's the way to really get going